Live from the Mancuni and Matters newsroom, these are the headlines at 5pm. The Manchester Arena bombing inquiry result has found that victim John Atkinson probably would have survived if he had received proper care. His family says he was totally failed at every stage and that he could and should have survived. Reaction on the streets of Manchester has been mixed. The police, the ambulance, everybody was on the way. So the fact that they're saying that people didn't get there in time. Manchester's a big city. If ambulances are coming from Withenshaw, if they're coming from Oldham, if they're coming from Stockport, even down to Stoke where we come from, it's going to take a bit of time. The Bank of England has announced an interest rate increase of 0.75%, the biggest single increase since 1982. Households across the region will see mortgages and rents soar in the coming months and coupled with rising energy bills and the onset of winter, the cost of living crisis is set to worsen. People in Manchester are worried about Christmas and the impact on their finances. It's been really difficult to try and make Christmas good already and make sure I have great gifts for everyone. With everything going up so much in price, it's really worrying. It's making it very hard for me to find the money to spend on Christmas presents for other people. So I'm leaving myself in a position where to get the presents that I want to get for people, I'm having to sacrifice other parts of my life. More than 45 BBC local radio jobs are at risk in a bid to reduce content made for specific stations. As part of a new strategy to go digital first, the Beeb will focus local content between 6am and 2pm on weekdays across the 39 BBC regional stations, while afternoon programming will be shared. Senior BBC journalist and presenter Andy Comfort voiced his concerns on Twitter, saying, Almost all staff on BBC local radio have been placed at risk of redundancy. Many may be moved to new roles. All presenter roles are closing and presenters will have to reapply for on-air jobs. I think it would be fair to say we are stunned and upset here. A 17-year-old boy has been charged with a total of nine offences, including robbery, possession of a bladed article in a public place and aggravated taking of a motor vehicle. The changes are in connection with knife point robbery of a young mother and her baby on Tuesday in Bolton. The boy has been remanded in custody. Four people were taken to hospital last night after a car collided with a tram near Velo Park on Ashton New Road at around 5.45pm. The incident caused major traffic disruptions as thousands of football fans were heading to the Etihad Stadium for Manchester City's game against Sevilla. On to sport now. Manchester United face Real Sociedad away tonight in what could be a very tense game for the Europa League. The Devils need to score two goals clear in order to top the group. It's all eyes onto the World Cup now with less than three weeks to go. Qatar take on Ecuador in the opening, opening game on Sunday the 20th of November with England kick-starting their campaign against Iran on Monday the 21st. Adding to England's fullback injury troubles, Chelsea fullback Ben Chilwell joins Rhys James and Kyle Walker as doubts ahead of team selection. England manager Gareth Southgate will be relying on less experienced players to bolster the squad. Weather now, it's a dry and bright afternoon for the Greater Manchester area, with highs of 12 degrees and a low of 6 overnight. Looking ahead to the weekend, it's another dry and bright day for Friday, with rain expected throughout Saturday morning. That's the latest, I'm Jess Rothwell.